Like, sometimes co-workers put X's on the end of their emails, and I'm like, excuse me, what the f are you doing? Should I call HR? Like, what's going on? <laughs> How are we doing? We all right? Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Um, who here is, like, working in their office again? Yeah, okay, some, some reluctant hands, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, yeah, I have, I have two jobs. I have this job and I have an office job. And I don't know why, because I hate working. <laughs> like, I hate working. Because I, I think the idea of work is absurd. Like, you have to work in order to live, you know? You have to work in order to live, you have to make money in order to live. And I'm like, I'm just alive. <laughs> I'm just alive, I didn't ask to be here, and now I'm doing admin. <laughs> And asked to be here, and now I'm sending PDFs. Because <laughs> all jobs are kind of just sending PDFs. <laughs> That's kind of what all jobs are. Like, so like, you're over here, like, what's your job? Uh, sending PDFs. <laughs> like, you're over here, like, what's your job? Receiving PDFs. <laughs> Receiving them is half of it, it's half of it. And like, just the fact that you can have a salary for sending PDFs. And I'm like, I really think that my salary should be higher. <laughs> for the amount of PDFs that I send. <laughs> and there's so much salary disparity for sending PDFs. So like, so like, say there's two people, both of you like send like eight PDFs a day. One of you's on 60K, one of you's on 18K. That's ridiculous, right? I think that that is bananas. Like, so I, I resent the, uh, the fact that I have to work. But say if I was on a date with someone and they were like, yeah, I'm actually like in between jobs right now. I'd be like, goodbye. <laughs> like what, you can't send a PDF? <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> and I know that's wrong. I know that that's wrong, but like, I just can't help it. I'm like a product of hustle culture. Like I can't help it. <laughs> Because uh, I, work, I work in an office and I've never really felt comfortable in an office. I don't know how much personality like you're allowed to have, uh, you know, before it get, becomes a distraction. Uh, I, work, I work in an office and I just hate all the shit that people say to you in an office. You know, like, good morning. <laughs> I know it's morning. I came in, didn't I? I've got a watch because I've got a job now. I know the time. <laughs> don't rub the morning in my face. Basically, I'm too woke for work. That's my issue with it. I'm too woke for email. Why are you emailing me? Say that shit to my face. <laughs> There's all this email etiquette that I just don't really understand. Like, why do I have to tell you thanks when I sent you something? <laughs> Here's that report you wanted, thanks. <laughs> nah. Here's that report you wanted, you're welcome. <laughs> Like, sometimes co-workers put X's on the end of their emails, and I'm like, excuse me, what the f are you doing? Should I call HR? Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, cause I don't roll like that, right? Like, I don't even put X's on the end of texts. I send to people I'm fucking. Like, someone has to die for me to send an X. <laughs> Sorry, your mom died X. <laughs> I think that's normal. <laughs> but they'll be like, hey Mary, can I get the main meeting room X? What are you trying to do in there? <laughs> So I've been working for a while now, like, you know, like, I've gotten accustomed to it. And so, like, you know, I'm back at work. And this time, if someone sends an email and there's no X at the end, I'm like, what the fuck has changed? <laughs> like, what, you don't have X with me anymore? Like, what's happened? <laughs> but one of the worst things that someone can email me at work is, will it be done by end of play? Why are you playing? <laughs> We're supposed to be at work. <laughs> I really, I really, I really, I just like, I, 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 one of the sort of questions that I ask myself when I'm bored at work every day that I'm gonna ask you guys. Um, when did Getty acquire all those images? <laughs> You know the internet, and you know how there's like images on there. This one girl, Getty, just owns all of them. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's amazing. How did one person take so many photos? I work in central London, that's where like Getty headquarters is. And so I was like, I'm gonna go in there at my lunch, I'm gonna meet Getty. <laughs> Not a lot of people know what she looks like because she doesn't take that many selfies. <laughs> but, no, it's true. 
So I, I went in there, I saw her standing there, I went up to her and I was like, oh my God, Getty, I love your work. And she didn't say anything because she's like, she's like a symbol of my existential dread. That's what, <laughs> that's what she is. Like sometimes, sometimes I feel like I'm not okay for this world. Like, do you remember, do you remember when the default font size setting was 12? <laughs> And now it's 11. <laughs> Who made that decision, guys? Why did we agree? All right, I've been Mary O'Connell, thank you very much. <laughs>